guys, welcome to my entire YouTube channel and I have posted another skill video, check it out and let me know if you guys have any questions. Be safe. Hey guys, my name is Mahalit and today I will be performing uh, inserting an IV and discontinuing an IV insertion. Uh, first thing I will do is I will perform a hand hygiene, introduce myself, explain the procedure for my patient and provide uh, privacy. And after I do that, I'm going to collect and organize my equipment on a clean area. So for today's uh, procedure, I have my sterile glove, clean gloves. And I have my 20 gauge uh, peripheral um, catheter uh, that will accommodate prescribed therapy and the patient need. And I have my uh, pre-filled uh, flush syringe my IV tubing extension, uh, gauze, extra gauze, and I have my IV start key, and I have my patient here. So uh, the first thing I would do is I'm gonna go ahead and um, wear my um, sterile glove. Okay, try not to touch the inside part. Table is slippery. And from the inside, I will just keep it down. And I'm gonna take this out. Trash. And one thing, I'm sorry, one thing I forgot to mention is I also have my, uh, sorry to touch it on my sterile glove, but I uh, forgot to mention that I have my sharp container here and my trash over there. Um, so after that, what I'm going to do is I'm going to uh, grab my IV uh, tubing extension, open it, and trash this. I'm going to go ahead and open my uh, pre-filled uh, syringe, and I'm going to go ahead and um, open this. This is trash. That is trash and connect this so what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and pry to remove air perfect this is good so I'm gonna put it aside and now oh, I'm sorry I'm gonna bring my patient over here and open this uh, IV start key And get my tourniquet. So I'm just gonna put it on my patient's upper arm. Let's pretend this is my patient's upper arm. It's a little bit of struggle to put this in, but I'll try to be as quick as possible. to kind of like stretch it a little bit because it wasn't uh, getting wasn't fitted so uh, after I, I, I put this uh, tourniquet around the arm at about 10 15 um, in, uh, 10 15 centimeter above the inserting area and do not uh, just make sure you don't put it you don't put this too tight to the patient uh, and then after I apply the tourniquet, I'm gonna go ahead and check for um, a, pres a presence of distal uh, pulse. Okay, and I feel the pulse. And after that, what I'm going to do is I'm gonna grab my uh, solution and clean um, using friction back and forth motion for like 30 seconds where I put my uh, gun puncture. So back and forth, back and forth for 30 seconds and this is going to be um, trash. And then after I uh, cleaned it, I will uh, have it dry completely. And then after I'm gonna place um, uh, my, um, what is this finger called? My, my thumb uh, to see the vein. 
and I'm going to place it 4 to 5 centimeter distal to the side that and then I'll be stretching the, the skin against uh, the direction of the insertion, okay? Okay. With that, I'm going to give my... Um, when this goes to the shelf container and as I said I have to place my thumb and over and then just stretch it four to five centimeter and I'm gonna um, insert my perform the manufacture I'm gonna insert it slowly and then wow well, one thing uh, one very important thing to um, observe is that um, uh, to see a blood return uh, that is indicating that we will up the needle to enter the vein so make sure it's, it's going all the way like about 0 0.6 centimeter in and then right after that I'm gonna retract my needle and take this out and then um, with my non-dominant hand uh, I will do that and then after I'm going to quickly grab my I'm quickly going to grab my uh, what is it called uh, my pre-filled syringe and put make sure you do not like avoid to touch the sterile connection in so I'm going to connect it after I connect it, I'm going to go ahead and um, I spray it for a blood return. Uh, and then if I don't see it, so I, will, I, ha I, may, I have to aspirate it for blood return and then slowly push the, the IV, I mean, push the pre-fill, the flash syringe, like just slowly. And, okay, and after I do that, I'm going to go ahead and clap this. And take this out this is going to be trash and now I'm going to apply um, my dressing okay after I apply my dressing and take this out nicely placed not blocking anything and now I'm going to go ahead and um, put my um, initial, the date, and the gauge uh, size. And then after that, trash, and I'll just place it here. And I'm going to put a tape to secure the extension TV. And make sure you don't block anything or kink. Uh, make sure there is no kink. So this is how we put inserting an IV. And make sure do not forget to clamp it. And you uh, initial it. You put the date. You put the gauge size. And after that, you uh, take off. Um, make sure you take off the tourniquet. I didn't take it off because it was kind of like a lot of um, struggle. So I'm going to go ahead and take off my um, gloves, perform hand hygiene, and ask my patients if they're comfortable and uh, if they need anything. And also, I just assess the skin uh, while uh, you do that. And then if my patient doesn't need anything, I'm just going to um, clean all uh, uh, the supplies that I used, uh, discard everything, perform hand hygiene, and go document and then now the second uh, video is going to be how to discontinue an IV insertion so to discontinue an IV insertion first thing I'll do is always perform hand hygiene introduce myself explain the procedure and I'll provide the privacy and right after that I, I will um, go ahead and wear my my clean glove And after um, I apply my clean gloves, 
I'm just gonna carefully remove uh, the dressing. And when we remove the dressing, just make sure uh, we we don't uh, hurt the patient's skin, okay? Slowly. So uh, and also uh, remove. Like it might be challenging to remove it with the gloves, uh, but slowly. Don't make sure you don't hurt patient's skin. I'm sorry. I was just my glove is not taking it out, and we're gonna uh, trash this one. And after we trash this, um, I'm gonna get an, a, a clean gauze and apply here, and slowly remove the puncture, the VAD. And then when I remove this, uh, the catheter, I have to inspect, uh, inspect it, uh, check the Links of the uh, the links and also the integrity of the in, uh, what is it called? I can't say that intactness of the this after we remove it and make sure this goes to the sharp container. And after what we're gonna do is after and oh one thing I forgot apply uh, a pressure in here for about like thirty seconds because um, when we uh, uh, pull. We have to pull the hub parallel to the skin, and then after we pull it, we have to make sure we put a uh, pressure for about 30 seconds. That is because uh, if it is bleeding, uh, so we have to uh, hold the pressure until it stops bleeding. And after that, I'm going to go ahead and tape it and secure it. And then I'm going to take off my glove. Uh, before I take off my gloves, I'm going to clean. Uh, and discard all my supplies, take off my gloves, perform hand hygiene, and ask if my patient is comfortable. Um, and I have to make sure if I discard the sharp containers in the sharp container and the trash goes in the trash, clean up everything, ask if my patient is comfortable, and if they say they're comfortable. Um, and one thing I forgot is also to assess the skin while we're removing the the catheter to assess for any redness, swelling, or anything. It's very important to assess for that and then ask my patient if they're comfortable. And if they're good, I'm gonna undo privacy. And I did say I wash my hands <laughs> and then undo privacy and go and uh, chart the findings I did. Thank you very much.